If every time you hear of the word hero, Superman comes to your mind, then it's time to think again. Let me introduce to you the tiniest superheroes ever, nanobots. And no, they don't find crime in Metropolis, but instead they are injected into your bloodstream and fight for your health. Nanobots are in fact computers in the size of molecules, and every part of them, from hardware to software, is actually made of DNA. And this is very important, as this is how they can recognize other molecules and interact with them. Just think about all those cancer drugs, uh, when they interact in a region of healthy and non healthy cells. They kill all of them. Have you ever imagined Superman punching everyone, including innocent civilians? Well, this is almost what a cancer drug does. But nanobots can be programmed to recognize and kill only the bad guys, which in the case of cancer are tumor cells. So we might not need new drugs. We have amazing drugs already. We just don't know how to control them. This is a problem, and nanobots are able to solve it. But how can they recognize target cells? They use a molecule lock, very similar to a computer lock-in system, with molecules behaving as the digits of the password. They begin the journey in an off state, and they safely hold inside any drug they carry on without causing damage to healthy cells. But by recognizing the right molecules combination, they switch to a non-state and expose the drug to the target cells. Now, think about all those collisions happening in therapies where multiple drugs need to act at the same time. We can have two types of nanobots, one with drug A and the other with drug B. Timing the activity of which drug is active allows them to operate without colliding. Uh, it's like having both Superman and Batman in the same town or in the same movie, but only one of them fighting at every moment. And there are even more amazing th things they can do. Using shake hands technique, they, uh, they, they form physical breaches which allow them to extend from the one part of an injur injured tissue to the other, as Spider-Man does using his, his web to transfer between buildings. Moreover, nanobots are able to count tensors and switch to a non-state only when we reach a certain number, allowing in this way the drug to be effective. Imagine Spider-Man waiting for his buddies, Superman and Batman, before any fight. I know, they could beat anyone. And though all these superheroes are part of science fiction, nanobots are not. So if they seem as in distant future, think again. The future is always beginning now.